Hey guys, this is Midget, and welcome to another episode of my Derby Career Mode. Today, um, there is three games, but there is they're under ten minutes, and it's simply because I couldn't get enough highlights. But not to worry, I still got you know the three games and two big matches that are Liverpool, as you see on screen right now. You can see Liverpool's team, and also Arsenal, um, the last match of the game. So basically, I want to talk about how good Bolly is, because he's not rated good, but he's a very very Salt play, you know, that like controls the game. You know, he's a very game changer pl type player for me. Um, but you know, um, in the 30, 35th minute, Iago asked pass. Pa um, I thought I thought he would pass, but he decided to go for the spectacular, and he scores. And as far as I know, this is his first game for the club, um, like first appearance because what he did was. Um, the commentators were saying that's a lovely debut goal, and so that must be his first game. And it was, you know, it was all right, but I think Legend should have been doing better. Um, but I think straight from kickoff, Danny Ings went on a run. Um, so yeah, he did the roulette there. You know, he started running, and I passed it through to Martin. And I found Martin, but he managed to the best he could do. Pretty much was put it wide over a couple of meters. But that was basically all the chances in the first half, because this game was fairly boring. Um, have it in the 54th minute, Ward runs down the line and cross it into an unmarked Bailey who volleys it first time, hits Mignolet, but it still but it like breaks Mignolet's um you know save and it goes in. Which I was pretty delighted to see because Bailey I put in mainly for the reason of fitness and you know I knew that this game would be, you know, hard and I'd probably lose it. So why why put my best players in, you know? Um uh, however um, straight after, for basically from kickoff, Iago Aspas dented my chances of getting something out of this game because it took me so long to get an equaliser. Um, but again, Bailey's a really good player, but you know, Iago Aspas, he's next level on this career mode. Look, he's better than Suarez. Look at him, he's scoring two goals per game. Well, okay, that does, doesn't make sense because Suarez is a really good player. But here in the 80th minute, sorry for this commentary being terrible so far. I know I, I've, I felt like I've not done a good job so far. That's basically because I'm tired, but um, in the 80th minute, Liverpool Sky, um, or Glenn Johnson, more specifically, Sky's an opportunity. And here at the st match stats, I'm kind of disappointed of not getting anything after this game, because we had the exact same amount of shots as in Liverpool, um, but Liverpool managed to be more clinical, which you'd expect from a title challenge inside, uh, rather than us, despite us being better. Um, the Liverpool in the league, which is kind of weird. Um, but now we're going into the game against QPR, you know. Um, I'd say from the teams that have... Um, gone up to the Premier League. We're by far the best team, you know. I, I remember last season, you know, QPR uh, were always beating me pretty much. But now in this career mode, you know, I, I've got I've got the confidence, I've got the team, and I've certainly got the morale to like be a side of QPR's thingy. But as you see, Paul Cutts is on the QPR starting eleven. So our former player is playing at right mid for the London side, and I was really um happy uh, for this because you know I could serve him a lesson for leaving you know sort of the first chance came to QPR in the sixth minute um, where, but Legends managed to risk it for a biscuit and he gets it uh, right but Joe Mangina's passed it through to Charlie Austin and he surprised me even with that shot you know it was like he didn't even take um, the balance he just shot it randomly I think that's what caught Legends out I would normally slate that and say that's a very very bad goal to concede but then even I was surprised that goal so I can't really you know say it was bad and as you see here Joe Mangina's pass it to Charlie Austin and he like you know takes the smallest of touches I'd expect him to take another one so probably did Legends that's why he didn't save it but uh, unlucky but in the 13th minute Danny Ings 1-2's it with Martin he chips it over the defender and Danny Ings beats him for pace and our best striker and the man on the thumbnail won't miss from there. You know, he's he's just utterly spectacular. Like, come on. No, not everybody could score a goal like that. But Danny Ings surely can. He's the main man in the series. And wherever I go, Danny Ings goes pretty much. So that's, keep an eye out for that if I ever leave. Um, but um, QPR had a ch chance there to uh, get the winning goal but they not the winning goal but, but get the leading goal but it failed and genus failed here again you know so I was, I was pretty considered pretty lucky in this game you know QPR should have been really been winning but in the 44th minute um Martin puts a first time ball into Ings if you give Ings that time and space he's not gonna miss you know after all he is a world class striker in my opinion he's only 21 he's not gonna miss an opportunity like that that was pure easy for him but going into the second half sorry I didn't um 
Um, I, I was too quick in my, you know, skipping the cinematics and I didn't manage to get the uh, half-time stats, but um, doesn't matter. Bryce had a shot there, which went, you know, purely wide. Uh, but in the 68th minute, Paul Cutts goes on the ball and the ward tackles him. This possesses him, but um, it goes out for a corner. So, I'm not very good with corners, you know. Um, I find mainly the computer corners are quite poor, like that was, but they get to a chance like that. Um, that is just unacceptable because it's not it's not in my hands. Keo, it wouldn't swap to Keo, but that's how the game ends. You know, I I was again very lucky. You know, I, I think I um I was very um what's the word disappointed with the result against Liverpool. Um, but I think I got it back here. You know, by getting a very lucky win. But here we reject two manager offers. One one for Peru from Peru, and the other from from Northern Ireland. Um, which is pretty funny. Um, because. It's Northern Ireland, of course, and um, Mark O'Brien says he's feeling a bit homesick, and I was like, because his family aren't around him, and they're only in Ireland, son. You're not, like, you're not, like, on the other side of the world. They can literally fly over to you, because you're a professional footballer, you earn the money. You can just fly over to them. Why do you feel homesick, for the God, for God's sake, you know? It's, it's just stupid. They're like, you can see, from one part of Ireland, you can see England. Like, come on, what? Just, just. Why are you feeling homesick, brother? You know, come on, it's just pathetic. But here we put up our, uh, is that our hardest lineup? I think it was our best lineup. But this game was mainly, um, not mission stop Arsenal, but mission stop Bentner. Not because he's the best, but pretty much the opposite because he's so bad. I don't want to concede to him. Um, but you know, Arsenal showed what they're best at. You know, tiki taka football. In the fourth minute, Alex Chamberlain gets played in, and Eric Dia manages. Well, he doesn't manage to um, tackle him. He was like a split second off. The moment Alex Oxley Chamberlain slotted the ball nicely into the net. Um, you know, Eric Dia managed to get the tackle on him. You know, just there. He he did get him, but he was just one split second off. Um, but in the eighth minute, so you know, we go straight on the counter and um. Per Mertzak and misses the header. He allows Jamie Ward to get through. And Jamie Ward tack, um, what's it called, fake shots and gets past Rosicki. But he puts the ball incredibly wide of the net. But then, um, I just want to just show you this run from Rosicki. So he started behind his um, halfway line. But he ran all the way down to Legdins and just missed. But the chance doesn't stop there. Oh no, it doesn't. It goes straight to Abu Dhabi. He passes it through to Rizitsky. He slides it through to Alex Oxley Chamberlain. And Rizitsky again almost scores. But we get lucky when Diaby misses the opportunity. And we play it out from there. But in the 21st minute, um, I think this is Danny Ings because of his pace. Yep. Um, he shoots it straight to Chesney. And I wasn't pleased with that effort. But, you know, the pressure and heat at the moment, you know, no one's a perfect striker. So I'm not going to slay him. And, um,. In the 42nd minute, Bentner almost scored, but, you know, luckily he didn't, and um, it was a goal kick, you know, Bentner's never going to score against me, I don't think, I've probably jinxed it, but look at that save from Legends, that, Oviedo was back, this is his first game back, you know, because he was injured, and he came back and almost got an on goal, but Legends managed to save it, and I was so pleased, I wasn't even angry at Oviedo, but, you know, I was just so pleased with Legends, but Bolly, again, shows how his game-changing, um, ability of pace um, comes in handy, you know, where he gets past all defenders, crosses into Berhino, and he just unluckily gets, um, you know, doesn't score, Chesney good save, but then in the 69th minute, you yeah, know, 69, um, he scored, Alex Oxley chamberlain doubled his side's lead and doubled his goal tally um, in this game with a, you know, quite, um, I would say it wasn't meant to be a goal, passed to him initially but he got to the goal and scored and that's what we did here with Berahino. I didn't mean to pass it to Berahino. I wanted to slide it through to Bolly and I know that, that I should really pass to Berahino because look um, but I don't know why I thought that was Bolly um, so I thought I'd pass to him but you know um, it wasn't it was Berahino, so it doesn't matter but look at this chance right I think this is Wal Hughes he keeps the ball in yeah sorry Hendrick but look at Oviedo this shot that would have been goal of the series and that would have been his first goal for Derby County. I was so, so, ah, uh, I'm not wanting him to score simply for the fact that I want to score a spectacular goal um, for his first goal. But, you know, that was almost it. Um, but, yeah, so that's basically it for this really short episode. Um, in the next episode, we're playing Burnley. Burnley? But West Brom, sorry. Um, but we get a manager role at Liverpool, which you'll see what happens. But I just want to say that this was um, a really cool episode to do. You know, there's a lot of things. And, yeah, so I'll see you guys later.